Hi, I'm Becky Larson, epidemiologist with Eagle County Public Health and Environment, giving a quick epi update on the novel coronavirus here in Eagle County. So new to our community dashboard, we'll be now posting our Eagle County lab confirmed cases. The case count will be posted next to the number of people reporting their own symptoms on the dashboard. And we'll also be providing some data on the number of tests um, administered in our community, as well as the number of negative results and those still pending. So I think that'll give everyone a little more information than they're able to get on the state's website as far as case counts. You will notice that the numbers are different between what we're posting and what the state health department is posting for Eagle County. The reason for that is the state health department has a bit of a delay from the data they're reporting based on what we have access to. So eventually those numbers work out, but ours is more real time. So the other thing I wanted to talk about around our lab confirmed cases is we're now able to track the onset of each of those um, cases and compare it to the self-reported symptoms. So you're going to see two charts on the dashboard. One is our lab conformed cases, a time series of onset of illness, and the other is the self-reported symptoms, all of our citizen epis reporting in their symptoms and when they started. So as you see, they line up pretty closely as far as the peak of our onset right now is between about March 10th and 12th. Um, more to come. Right now we're in a decline, but we are cautiously optimistic that our social distancing is working, but we're still adding more data to this daily. So stay tuned, keep posted to that information. It is updated in real time. So the th second thing we're seeing with our lab confirmed cases, like I mentioned, we're continuing to see spread, but mostly in household contacts. So within your family members or household members, we're seeing one person become ill, and then that's spreading to other family members. So it's really important that if anyone in your household is ill, that they try as much as possible to keep their distance from other people for about seven days. I know that's really hard, um, but as much as possible, especially at the beginning of their illness, as soon as they start to feel symptoms, that's when someone is most infectious. So the other good thing for household members to do is wash your hands, um, clean and disinfect those hard surfaces and don't touch your face or your mouth. So stay tuned for more epi updates um, and also keep track of our real-time data. Thank you.